Welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name's Tom Horton. I'm a professional musician and composer based in the east of England. Today, we're gonna to learn a fun piece from my piano book, Pianistic. It contains 10 brand new compositions and arrangements for the piano. As a new composer of piano music, it's my dream to get my compositions into the hands of as many piano players around the world as possible. And in return for your support, I'm going to give you a free piano lesson today on how to play this piece. Head over to the website tomhorton.co.uk, grab yourself a copy of the book, let's head over to the keys and we'll show you how to play an exciting piece of music. Okay guys, so here we go with um, piece number three in my piano book, Pianistic. And don't forget, you can order this via my website, tomhorton.co.uk, if you'd like a physical copy. And if you want to do a download, please visit sheetmusicplus.com. And uh, we can send books physically anywhere in the world, um, but if you'd like to get hold of a digital download, you can do that via sheetmusicplus.com. Now, um, in the notes at the beginning, uh, we do talk a little bit about La Paloma, and we're saying the piece was written in Spain in the 1950s, but has become hugely popular across the world. The dotted crotchet quaver left-hand rhythm pattern gives it a Latin feel and is typical of the habanera style of music and dance. Now, this was written by a guy called Sebastian Heredia, and uh, what you can do is, if you have a, a piece of music that's in what we call the public domain, you can take that piece of music and do your own version of it. So in fact, there's two arrangements of public domain songs in Pianistic, um, the piano book, and uh, this is the first one. So the idea of this free music lesson is I show you how to play the piece, and in return for that, I really would hope for your support as a new composer by treating yourself to a copy of the book. So hopefully we can count on your support. Now, um, this one's in the key of C, and what's nice about it is it only uses the notes from middle C down to low C, and uh, we're going up, I think, about as high as uh, F or G up here. So it's quite a limited range of notes, but it's fun to play. Um, it doesn't really use much more than two or three notes at a time. Um, so I hope you're going to enjoy looking through the score and uh, learning this together. Now, let's take a look first of all at the opening left hand. Now, this left hand rhythm is really important. So we're in 4-4 time, um, tempo is about 110, and we're gonna place our little finger on the C, under middle C in the bass, two on G, and the thumb on the A. And this is the pattern. Ooh, we can feel the warmth of South America already, or Spain. Now this is called the fish and chip rhythm. Fish and chips and fish and chips and fish and chips. It's daft, but it does work. Now notice the articulation in the music. We've got a line over the first two notes going to the third note, which is staccato, as is the fourth beat. So the rhythm is one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So we're making the A and the G at the end staccato. And you want to practice that until you can play that and talk to the cat at the same time. Okay, so there's the rhythm. And that's going to get a bit of mileage on the first page, okay? There we go. So that's what we're going to use to start with. And in fact, that gets used on the first line 
and on the second line. So the first uh, seven bars, that is the C major pattern. Now we then have an introduction on line one, which uses big, long pairs of notes. So we're using these little thirds look. So we've got E and G, descending, descending, and then climbing back up until we have the melody coming in at the end of the first line with the G right there. So uh, let's try and pop, we can probably pop this together more or less straight away actually. So E and G, and here's our rhythm. So one, two, three, four. Bring in the chord in, holding the chord on the right hand, and then one, two, and three, and, and then there's the, the melody coming in, which is our G. So practice that left hand. One, two, and three, four. Fish and chips and fish and chips and... But you could do a couple of those before you get started. There we go. Now notice my fingers, look. Three and five, two and four, one and three, using my pairs, look. Lovely introduction. Now on the last beat, we're gonna play our G, and then on the next line, another G, and the melody then carries on. Ooh, now we've got some interesting rhythms going on there, haven't we? So let's take a look at the rhythms on line two. So we've got the, the semi-breathe on the G. One, two, three, four, rest. And then we're gonna go da, 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 da. Now notice the staccato's there. Okay. Now, those two staccatos, the G and the A, will synchronize with the left hand rhythm. So you're gonna go one and a. Uh, so that's how those go together. Look, one and a, uh, I haven't missed it. One and a, uh, two and. Now you gotta get your thumb under to that last A. And you can do that because it's staccato on the G, okay. So it's one, two, and one, two, and three, four. Now here we've got a rhythm uh, in the next bar that goes follow the leader. Okay, follow the leader, which is quaver crotchet, quaver, and then two crotchets. Okay, so that's on bar seven. Da 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 da. And then over to D and F like that, okay? So that's that's just work that melody through. So we're gonna go from the opening here, carrying on here, look, and one, two, three, four, rest, thumb, thumb, and then two, one, crossover, two, three, four, hold, two, three, because we've got ties there. Now, when we come to play, though that pair there, okay, that means that we need a, a different chord down the bottom here, and uh, we're actually gonna go to the G note just south of middle C. Now we're gonna, same pattern, look, D's and E's this time. And then we're gonna go up here to B and D. There we go, look. Okay, so that's really nice. So let's play that all the way through. So we're gonna do our introduction, and you can see that pattern, fish and chips and fish and chips, that's coming nicely together. So don't forget, folks, we're using the Pianistic book available on my website, tomhorton.co.uk, and today I'm giving you a free piano lesson on how to play my arrangement of Sebastian Aradia's popular Latin Spanish number, La Paloma, which I hope you're enjoying, and hopefully you'll stay with me while we show you a few more hints and tips on learning this at home. So here's the introduction. Okay, melody. Here we go. See how those go together? One, one, two, and three, four. Ta -da, da 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 Over. Hold those down. Now, up to B and D. Change. A. 
hey, that's sounding really good, isn't it? What about that? And isn't it isn't it lovely how well I deliberately did that? I haven't used too many notes because pianistic is kind of a book that ranges from kind of those who do the grades here in England, um, kind of like post grade one onwards, and it goes up to about grade three. So it's a book with ten compositions. Two of the uh, pieces of the book are. Um, public domain arrangements, so there's eight originals, two public domain arrangements, um, all from yours truly. And the idea is, is that you probably learn maybe the first couple of songs of the book, put the book away for six months, as you get better with your lessons or your learning, you then come back. So it's a book you can always come back to as you progress. Now, if we take a look at the third line, we've now got some lovely harmony going on like this. into our rhythm. Now, what happens there? Well, we're going along the third line, look, and we're on a G chord. Okay, now we're going to jump all the way to middle C with our thumb, little finger on the E, and we're playing the melody in both hands, but in harmony. And we're going to, look here, look, so, so it's one, two, not, not E, because we don't get any harmony, so up to C. And the hands work the same way, look. Always keeping that lovely harmony, which incidentally is a, is a tenth. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, look, we're walking down, we're going to go follow the lead. Remember that rhythm? Quaver, crotchet, quaver, two crotchets afterwards. Follow the lead. And we want to land on the bottom C. Now the fingering there is quite important, look. So we're going to tuck under to this G to get our little finger on the bottom there. Now let's repeat, because at the end of line 3 there is a repeat, and then you go back to bar 5 at the start of the second line. You haven't got to do the repeat, I missed them out in the opening performance, just to keep that short, but if you want to go back again we'll do that now. Snappy staccato rhythms. Fish and chips and fish and chips and one, two and three, four, follow the leader. Okay. Now that's beautiful. I think I'm really pleased with the way that sounds. Now we're going to divide this video into two parts, okay, so there's going to be La Paloma part one, and that's what you're watching now, and because the piece is two pages long, we're, and there's some other rhythms that we want to talk about, we're going to take a look at um, the majority of page two in the second video. But let's now carry on to the bottom line, which is bar 15 onwards. So we've just played a G look at the end of that third line, we're now going to come down to here. By the way, the idea of this arrangement is I'm trying to teach you, this is what I do in my lessons, I'm trying to teach you um, these different Latin American uh, Spanish style rhythms. So we've got uh, the habanera, we've got the, the rumba, you know, the, all the tangos, all those kind of things. And if you don't play this kind of music, then you never start to learn it. So this song is a good rhythm exercise piece. So we've just done this. Okay, third line going into the fourth line, two on G, and now we're going to start to get out of this rhythm for a moment, just to sort of clean the sound up. So we've got a fifth on the left hand, look, C and G, C in the melody, look, but this, this pattern look on the melody, follow the leader, there you go, look, it's there again, look, isn't it, follow the leader. Now, E with C, that makes a C chord on an E bass, follow the leader. Now we've got a... Um, uh, an E, well, E flat augmented. It's, it's, I suppose you could think of it as D, D sharp diminished, or um, <laughs> whatever you want to think of it. But it, it's, um, it, it's just a little halfway house chord. Look. Oh, da da da. So just put your four on the E, one on the uh, E. You can put the five there if you wanted, and then go E flat and B. And then we're going to go into this chord, which is D minor 7, but back into our pattern for a moment. One, fish, and chips. Now look, hold the G down, look, that's tied. Nice and crisp, those staccato. It's got to do that to get that Spanish rhythm. Walk to G. Okay, so that's the end of the first page. And we're now, for the rest of this lesson, we're just going to focus on the top line 
up here. Now, of course, I'm not sort of teaching you per se how to play this piece because I would hope you'll read the music, learn it from the book. So this is just to give you those performance hints and tips. Now, bar 19 up here, we're then gonna do a G and an F. Okay, big dominant seventh there, G7 chord, three on the B. Look, again, look at our rhythm. Look, follow the leader. Follow the leader. Down to D and C, just pick that up. Look, down to D minus seven. Follow the, and then bring those guys together, F and B. And then we're gonna go. Now, inside the two bars up here on page two, there is a bar number one look. Got bar one, bar, uh, sorry, not bar one, line one over these two bars. Okay, that's called a first time bracket. And it means that these two bars, we're gonna play them on the first time through the piece only. So you have to play these, and then there's a repeat mark that links up with uh, bar 15. So you're gonna go from there back to here. Okay, so let's look at page two, gang. Top line, bars 21 and 22, and those are the two that are under the bracket that has a number one in it. These are the first time bars, you only play them once. So we're going, bar 19, follow together, and then put your one on the G, and then play your pattern, one over, and then when you, so the reason we're doing this is we're gonna finish with a third at the end, we're gonna go one and two, okay, so it's one and two, so hold the C with it, da da dum and, so fish and chips, and rest, G's, cha cha cha, and then back to bar 15. Notice the melody look, very smooth. Pattern, fish and chips and walk to G. Little finger on the G, F, blow the leader, follow the leader, and then play the second time, play this last bar over here, which has got the two bracket over it. That's the second time. So you're going, first time you're going, da 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 then play the bars in the first time box. Cha cha cha, then repeat all again, da 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 and second. You go over, look, those two bars, jump over, and then play box two. The reason we've got one or two of these box ones and box twos is it saves printing costs from my point of view as a self-publisher but also it means you're not turning pages all the time because if we have this all laid out with the repeats it would be about five pages long now as it happens box two bar second time bar up there is the same as the opening of bar one so you haven't got to learn anything there just play it Then we go to treble clef in bar 24. So you're gonna come up, look. Change to four. And then that's as far as we'll go in this video. So thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. If you've enjoyed this lesson, think, oh, I don't, I don't have this book. <clears throat> it's called Pianistic. I'm a publisher. I compose and publish my own books. So if you'd like to support me, please head to my channel, Tom Horton. Um, sorry, website, I should say, tomhorn.co.uk, and you can buy a physical copy of the book from there. And then uh, there's a link on the website to sheetmusicplus.com if you prefer a digital download. Either's good, and uh, it's pianistic, the one with the blue line, no number, and this is the third song in the book, which is La Paloma, and it's my arrangement of this popular Latin piece. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in part two sometime soon, and we'll take a look at the remaining lines of the music down here. Thanks for watching everybody. Enjoy your fish and chip patterns and your follow the leader patterns and we'll see you in the next part of La Paloma, my arrangement inside Pianistic. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon. <laughs>